There are a few mole salamander species who bear the name tiger, so in an effort not to leave anybody out, we'll include all of them in today's episode. These salamanders are closely related to the axolotls we previously discussed. It is 100% a fact that axolotls and tiger salamanders are both adorable. There's definitely a cuteness gene somewhere in that genus. And sometimes, tiger salamanders can even display the permanent larval stage seen in their axolotl cousins. Gills for life. Tiger salamanders are natively found in North America, ranging from southern Canada down to central Mexico depending on the species. Though these salamanders have a relatively large range throughout their native lands, they're hardly ever seen. Two reasons for this exist. One, they're nocturnal, and two, they almost exclusively live underground. A nocturnal lifestyle is beneficial, as it keeps the salamanders safe from scorching sun rays. Tiger salamanders are terrestrial salamanders, meaning they don't live their adult life in water, but they're still amphibians and thus still require moisture to survive. An underground burrow is a perfect place to stay soggy. The humid environment within their burrows, which may be, depending on the species, self-made or commandeered from neighbors, ensures that they stay moist. Staying below the surface of the earth can also help with avoiding predators, though tiger salamanders still face persecution from frogs, snakes, owls, and badgers. They make a hearty meal, too. Tiger salamanders are considered some of the largest terrestrial salamanders in the world, as they can be over a foot in length, though their average size is closer to half of that. They don't start out that size, of course. Tiger salamander breeding seasons are dependent on where they live as well as their species, but usually there's some correlation with rainy weather since they breed above ground. A male will nuzzle against a female until she nuzzles back, at which point he'll place a spermatophore on the ground. The female will take this in and the ritual will start all over again, sometimes with the intrusion of other males. I guess they don't really believe in personal boundaries. After about 48 hours, the female will lay her eggs. Some species, like California tiger salamanders, lay their eggs one at a time or in small bundles, while others, like eastern tiger salamanders, will lay them in large clutches. It takes a few weeks for the larvae to hatch, and they'll spend the next few months developing into adults. Tiger salamander larvae look like axolotls, but eventually they grow into those goofy grinning giants. Though some individuals may sport patterns likening them to their mammalian namesake, not all tiger salamanders have stripes. Some come spotted, and others may not have any markings at all. No matter their hue, however, they're happy to eat earthworms, snails, slugs, bugs, and even other salamanders. I mean, they're a lot bigger than most other salamanders living in North America, so it makes sense they'd eat smaller species. I'm not sure what they'd think if they came face to face with a hellbender, though. For more facts on tiger salamanders, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up for salamanders, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.